it isn't just about just where you live, but then a whole bunch of other kinds of, I think, socioeconomic determinants. As I cross the road here at Water and Canby Streets in Vancouver, the average life expectancy of a resident increases by about 20 years. And that big difference between neighborhoods in Metro Vancouver is the focus of a first of its kind study at UBC. Life expectancy in the health of one neighborhood is likely going to be different than another neighborhood. Jessica Yu is the lead author of a study that, for the first time in Canada, compares life expectancy rates and causes of death at the neighborhood level for over 25 years. On average, uh, we saw that the inequalities were from anywhere between um, 6.9 years to up to 9.5 years for males and females. Vancouver continues to be one of the healthiest cities in the world, but the study shows that life expectancy inequalities have grown considerably since 2001, just when the gap started to shrink in the 90s. Inequality actually widened to its largest gap for males in 2016 to up to 9.5 years. And we can't exactly say why, because we haven't studied that yet. You know, it could be healthcare access. It could be, you know, being closer to transit and it could be um, the types of green space. Life expectancy across Metro Vancouver actually did increase overall from 1991 to 2016. But it may be no surprise that places where poverty has taken hold, like the downtown east side, continues to have around the lowest life expectancy at less than 75 years. In a place like the downtown east side, I think it highlights actually where resources need to be allocated. That it's not only about uh, what we particularly, um, they, what, they, what they immediately say reflect upon where things are are at this moment with the study, but then really where interventions need to occur. Yu says figuring out how these data relate to specific policies and social factors is work that is still to come. If we want to address this, you know, public health planners, urban planners can then use this data to make evidence informed um, policies and programs. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.